What up? So I've been on the talk. You know, the TikTok. Everyone has me questioning what my aesthetic is. And it's really bugging me. I feel like everybody has an aesthetic. Everybody out there has an aesthetic, a specific one that they stick to and everybody seems comfortable in their own skin and happy and I don't know what mine is. But today, we're gonna try and figure that out while also showing you guys some different ways to express different aesthetics. Again, I am no expert on any of these. However, I have not played with makeup in a while, so this is my opportunity too. So, we're just gonna jump right in. The first one that I kinda wanted to experiment with is the baddie aesthetic. A little intimidating. I just looked up pictures of what a baddie aesthetic looks like and these girls, they, they're intimidating as hell. So the baddie aesthetic, with makeup at least, it's a lot of warm tones, a lot of gold accents, perfect eyelashes, bronzer, a lot of browns and reds, and they always just look so confident and I think that's why they're intimidating. So we're gonna try and channel that energy right now and do a makeup look for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a base on my skin first. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I did my base. One thing that I noticed about these Insta baddies is the fact that their eyebrows are very defined and colored in. I have thick eyebrows to begin with, but I think I'm gonna go in with this, this little angled brush and I'm going to thicken my eyebrows and color them in a little bit. I know this palette's problematic. Don't come at me. The only mirror I have. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't like this. However, comma, I feel like I need to keep it just for the sake of finishing the aesthetic up. Okay, so next I wanna do some like brown tones, some like gold shimmer, something for my eyes. Let's do like a little, little red moment. What I'm doing is I'm just taking a fluffy brush like this. I'm gonna put it in like a rainbow shape almost. I say rainbow shape, what I meant was just like in the crease of your eye. Okay, I'm not angry about it. Next, I'm probably gonna put like a brown base in this eye here with a flatter, smaller, fluffy brush. It's too many adjectives. Whoa, did you see how much product came off of there? I'm just gonna put it in like the lid of my eye here. So I went in and did the brown all over the lid and I think what I want to do next is I want to do like a gold color like in the middle of the lid. Maybe I just want to do that with my finger. That might be the best option. I'm gonna take this gold shade right here and I'm just gonna put it like right in the middle of my lid. Just tap it in like that. Yeah, that looks, I like that a lot. Okay. Okay, yes. I think I also wanna put gold like in the inner corner. I'm gonna take a little brush like this, and dip it into this gold shade, and I'm just gonna put it in the crease, just a little. Next, I'm gonna take this Revlon color stay skinny marker and I'm gonna use it to create a big wing. Wings for me are scary. I always feel like I'm gonna mess up. That's a thick boy. I'm trying to do like this really baddy thick liner and I just don't think it's gonna work. Eyeliner makes me sweat. It makes me sweat. I don't know if it works or not. Some of these girls have dumb thick eyeliner. The left sides always scare me, so I'm gonna do this off camera and come back. 20 minutes later. Okay, for my first try at this dumb thick eyeliner, it's not bad. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, to be honest. So anyways, I think we're gonna put mascara on and then call the eyes a day. I think I wanna add some brown to like the under, I act like I don't know what I'm talking about. The underwater line. That's not what I mean, but you know what I mean, right? Child, anyway, so I think we're gonna use this little guy and I'm gonna take this lighter brown color, put some underneath my eyelid. Made a little bit of a difference, but I think it looks good. We're actually gonna move on now 
to big baddie eyelashes. I'm in between two different mascaras right now. This one is the big lash one and it's almost empty. I'm really weird about getting every last drop of mascara out. Plus, I like this wand so much better than the regular wand because it is called big lash. It is bigger. Okay, eyes are done. Moving on to the face, Miss Instabaddy likes her bronzer. We're going to do a shimmer bronzer because they also like the shimmer moment. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the shimmer bronzer and then we're gonna do a highlight on top. Let's actually use this guy for bronzer. I got a new brush set if you can't tell. Bronzer we're gonna put right here. Not showing up. Not showing up, honey. Right under the cheekbone is where you wanna put bronzer, by the way. I always tend to do it either right here or a little bit higher. I'm gonna do it a little bit higher today just cause I'm not gonna be wearing blush. You don't want it too dark to the point where it looks like dirt on your face, but you do want it to look like your cheekbones are defined. Okay, I think that's good enough for the bronzer and I think we're gonna move on to highlight. So I wanna use this little fluffy brush for highlight. It's gonna be this champagne -y color. Oh yeah, little. Look at the wrist, tip of the nose, little up here. Oh my God, I forgot I have to do lips. I never do lips. So we're doing lips now. The baddie aesthetic generally is like a darker nude lip or like a brown lip. So this is what I found of mine that would probably fit that title quota. I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go in with the lip liner first. I don't think I've used lip liner since my dance recitals in grade school. So this is gonna be interesting. Excuse me, copyright. Disrespectful. Ah, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have overlined them. I look like a like dog female character in a book. Oh my God. Girl, I'm scared. Okay, now we're gonna take this liquid lipstick. Okay. Hold on. I don't like that it's shiny. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. Oh. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, first impressions of this aesthetic. Sorry, now with my hair down, I'm like, whoo. Very hard eyeliner to do, for sure. That probably was the most nerve-wracking thing that I did. The lipstick I'm not used to at all, but I don't mind it. Overall, if I put my mind to it and I actually wanna like do this look before I go out or something like that, I feel like I could pull it off. The eyebrows don't bother me as much anymore. I'm gonna take some TikToks and videos of me in this aesthetic, but go ahead and stay tuned for the next aesthetic. Bye guys. So long story short, I had stuff all weekend for work and I couldn't get any more looks done. So here we are again. And then after this, it'll probably be a break until you see me again. And the next time you see me, I'm not gonna be in this space. I'm moving into a new apartment. This makeup look, as you can probably tell, I did my base already and I'm in the process of doing my eyebrows. I'm going for a grunge look today, the grunge aesthetic. It's this grunge aesthetic is what you would think it is. It's like kind of an emo phase, but a little more toned down and a little more grown up. Grunge was famous in like the 90s. Some people didn't get to grunge till like the early 2000s. Lots of blues and purples and black. So we're already getting right into it. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cool toned black eyeliner look. This is a scandal, don't cancel me. I was thinking of using one or both of these. I'm definitely going to take this charcoal looking eyeshadow. I don't know why there's a slash in it. But I'm gonna take that first. I'm gonna put that in the inner corners like this and then we'll go from there. Dark colors make me nervous. So I think this doesn't seem dark enough to me. Maybe I'm overthinking it. This also seems very blue. So maybe I mix it with the black. This makes it more scary. Ooh, okay, a little better. Liking it a little bit more. Okay, I think next I'm gonna take this like navy. I feel like it's a navy shade, but with black and silver flecks of glitter in it. So I'm gonna take that and put it on my eyelid with this little guy. See how it looks on the lid? Oh, it's very fine. 
Oh no. Maybe get the top layer off a little. That's disappointing. Urgh. I don't know what to do now. Maybe I should do green? No, I'm gonna go with the Illuminati, the emerald green and see how that works. I feel like it's not grungy look. You know what? I didn't live in that time, so like, Actually, I did. That's a lie. That's a, such a lie. I'm such a 90s kid. But also, I didn't, I wasn't a teenager or a grown up in that time. So I don't know if this is what they did. I'm so out of my comfort zone. It's the crazy green eyeshadow for me. Definitely going for black eyeliner. I have this pencil liner and I'm kind of scared to use it on my top lid. What if I use it on my bottom lid? Like a tad? Oh God, ow. Pencil poked in the eye. This doesn't really work. Hold on. Yeah, I think we need to put a little bit of eyeshadow on there, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with a smaller brush. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Got some black in my eyeball. Okay, then we're gonna do eyeliner. Maybe, baby mine, don't you cry. Oh, wow. Now, some grudge girls did their eyeliner like really winged out like i did last time but i think for this one we're going for like a a little bit of top liner not too much of a wing and now we're back so i did simple eyeliner not too noticeable you ever meet those people that are like maybe three or four years older than you in high school maybe this is just pertaining to my generation my seniors when i went to high school they loved all of these alternative rock bands and they really liked black eyeliner and flannels and band t-shirts i want to put a cute little heart on my cheek but i know that's an e-girl aesthetic and that's not the same thing you know what i can do i can put highlight on i feel like i saw enough highlight in my photos that i found um Okay, hair down, girl. I need a band tee too. I feel like grunge, you need like black clothes. Hey, this is so much better. Let me switch my lights to red. Oh, honey. All right, this turned out not too bad. I'm not mad about it. So yeah, this looks cute. I'm gonna go take pictures and not act like myself and uh, stay tuned for the next aesthetic. I'll see you guys. <laughs> Oh, what up? I'm in my new apartment. Yeah, I'm in a new apartment. Very exciting. Living room is in the process of being done, so like that stuff, ignore that. But I wanted to go ahead and do the last makeup look that I have been promising you guys. This one that I picked out is gonna be kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit. It's just different than what I'm used to. This last aesthetic that I'm gonna do for you guys, I believe it's pronounced kawaii like hawaii but spelled with a k basically it's a lot of pinks a lot of blushy tones some glitter which glitter's not out of my comfort zone but like the pink blushy like childlike look is not what i'm used to at all that's gonna be a little bit different but i'm kind of excited for it so i'm just gonna go ahead and put a base on and get started from what i've seen there hasn't been a lot of shimmery colors with the pastel kawaii I think i'm gonna want the metallic in the lid so i think i want this pigment in the crease of my eye another thing i've noticed with the kawaii aesthetic is that their eyeshadow is like very smoked out oh yeah this is very pink it's very pink it's very very pink now i'm taking this shimmer rose gold color it's this guy right here oh, i just thought of something okay I'm gonna save that color for later. I wanna do another pink. I think what I'm gonna do is this, my pills, but I'm gonna put my pills on the lid and then I'm gonna put the shimmer like in the middle of my lid. <gasps> Genius! I swear the moment my roommate finds my YouTube, she's moving out. <laughs> Be like, I completely understand, ma'am. You can leave. Now, I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shade, the shimmer rose gold shade, and I'm just gonna put it like right in the middle of my lid. There's usually some white shimmer in there somewhere. I'm gonna put ranch on the lower lash line to make my eyes pop a little bit more. Ah, I do this to myself every time and I 
completely forget that I did it the last time. But it still hurts just as much. I don't know what these lights are called up here, but I had to turn them on because it was getting a little dark. So I did put on eyeliner and then I put mascara on and now I'm gonna put blush on and then I'm gonna attempt to do glitter freckles. I'm gonna do the white glitter. It has penguins and hearts and moons in it. So I think those would be kind of appropriate for this aesthetic. I don't know why I'm nervous. Okay, this is kind of cute. Okay, strategically placed freckles. I think for lips, this look is mainly either like pink lipstick or like a nude or just gloss. Okay guys, this is the final aesthetic look. I low-key love this like a lot. I think honestly the reason being why I like it so much, I think the light pink eyeshadow is a good contrast with my dark eyes. The glitter freckles are super cute. I just happened to get a penguin on each of my little cheekbones here, so that's adorable. I believe that is all I have for this video. If you guys liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Comment what you wanna see next from me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Do you guys wanna see an apartment tour from me? Do you wanna see me do three more aesthetic makeup looks? Maybe this time I'll like dress up for it, who knows? I really appreciate all the love and support, and as always, I hope you guys are staying safe and sane, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.